So, <laughs> I've had duck collars in my life. <laughs> the plan has come to fruition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Quinn, Quinn loves duck collars. <laughs> He's so I'm driving. I gave him. I gave it to him. Like we're on. We're on our way to his baseball game, and. Uh, so I opened up the package and said, hey, look what Auntie Angelina got you, because I still had them in the car. Look what Auntie Angelina got you. And I hand it back, and he's like, what is it? I said, well, it's a duck collar, right? So I said, you blow it, and that was the worst drive I ever had. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a worse time you could have done that. <laughs> Alone in the car for a long drive. <laughs> but, so I had to explain to him, I said, okay, this is something you only play with outside. <laughs> so, so yeah, and that's exactly what happened. And so we get to the baseball game, and of course we're outside, and there's people around us everywhere, and he just <laughs> in incessantly blowing in a duck collar. I said, okay, it's time to take that, put it at the bottom of the cooler, and we're going to go play our game now. So. <laughs> Thanks. Cue, cue the alcohol. <laughs> so. Bet you're looking forward to Elliot Lake. <laughs> Eight and a half hours with duck collar all the way. Yeah, that might, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Might have to step on those <laughs> accidentally. Okay, it's time for another classic review. We just did Scarface a little while ago. We left Mark out because he was the one who suggested we watch it. And I did watch it. <laughs> and you guys <laughs> did it anyway. Did it anyway. <laughs> it's one of our most popular videos. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, we asked in the comments another classic, and many of you suggested some like it hot. A Marilyn Monroe film. So uh, let's talk about that one. Hi everybody, welcome back to Movie Related. Oh! <laughs> that is because Mark made us watch a movie. Oh. Um, when we say classic, we're, we're going back now because this is black and white. So it's a much older film, yeah. much older style. In the 50s. Yeah. When, I'm, when The I'm, 50s representing 1929. Yeah. <laughs> When, when I heard Some Like It Hot, I always, for my whole life, thought this was going to be like an early 80s... Like, oh no. Like a... <laughs> like, like a... a university... Like a pink Cadillac type <laughs> car movie, yeah. No, no, like uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I thought, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, this must have been like one of those great comedies that I just haven't seen. Okay, no, Marilyn Monroe, black and white. Prohibition. <laughs> Gangsters. Yeah. <laughs> Murder. So, <laughs> Saint. De oh, by the way, the Saint Valentine's Day Massacre is featured prominent in this comedy. Yes. <laughs> yes. It is. Yeah, that's yes. that's the assassination in the garage of all the guys. That, that was the same. That's the Saint Valentine's Day Massacre. Oh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> they reference it like nine times in the film. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So well, this is our second Marilyn Monroe classic. The first one was uh, what? Yes. How to Marry a Millionaire. Yeah. Yeah. Which I thoroughly enjoyed. I like that one too. I watched mm -hmm. that over and over again. Two, so that you enjoyed this one. So, did he enjoy this well, one? Well, he Spoilers. just said I like that one no. too. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you at the end if I liked it or not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep it under okay. the cuff. Uh, yeah. So, the basic premise is we have these two band players. One is a Romeo, one is a comedian sort of thing. Like the... This is like... The straight man. Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis, Lewis having a Costello kind of thing. Um, without being the complete goofy looking <laughs> sidekick kind of thing. And they get wrapped up in prohibition and uh, being arrested and they have to hide from the mob who they witness the St. Valentine's Day Massacre and they disguise themselves as women and go with an all-girl band. Mm -hmm. That's basically the premise. It's Tootsie before Tootsie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and a little bit of Tu Wong Fu. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, Tony Curtis in this is, the, I got a little confused in this film, because at the beginning, Tony Curtis is the guy hitting on all the women. He's hitting on the secretary, he's hitting on the dancers, he's hitting, and then when we first meet Marilyn Monroe, it's Jack Lemmon who goes crazy for Marilyn Monroe, and he's the guy going, no, 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 you can't do it, and then they switch around again halfway through, I'm going... Wait a minute, you're not kind of, you're not holding your, your own characters here. You're kind of jumping a little bit all over the place. A bit of a love triangle thing going on. Yeah, but I, like it was so drastically different from character immediately for Jack Lemmon. Jack Lemmon was... I think he stole the show. Was away from the women and then 
all of a sudden he's the, the girl crazy guy. Well, I mean, he's allowed to be attracted to somebody. No, I mean, it's Marilyn Rope. <laughs> <laughs> what was there to be attracted to? Yeah, uh, yeah, he was he was the, the playboy and he was about gambling and not taking anything seriously. And then he was the one kind of like trying to keep things on the rails. Yeah. So it, it didn't... And then went off the rails <laughs> mm -hmm. in this. Yeah. But, um... For the time, I think this was an okay movie, like pretty funny for the time. Okay, well, funny, funny, or funny? It, like, as, I mean, it had some jokes. It had some jokes. But it wasn't over the I top. Read, I read online that, I think it was the American Film Institute, said this was the greatest comedy of all time. Uh, well, I, don't, I wouldn't go that far. So, maybe, see, at the time... Like this could have been this was groundbreaking maybe right yeah, because they were skirting the line with sexuality oh in very the 50s, much so in the fifties and there are lots of metaphors like the fuzzy end of the lollipop and the sweet right. end of the lollipop yeah and and, and they played up Marilyn Monroe's sexuality a lot in this film like even way more than How to Marry, uh, How to Marry a Millionaire, Mar millionaire. Yeah. like they told me I was kaput finished all washed up. And here you are making a chump out of all those experts. <laughs> Mineral baths, no, really. <laughs> Where did you learn to kiss like that? I used to sell kisses for the milk pen. Like, her... I'm looking at her, you know, she's okay looking in this movie. And then, uh, then she done that boop boop bee doo song, and I said, okay, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Well, the thing about the thing about Marilyn Monroe in this movie is that she she doesn't have that that typical what we would consider modern day hot body. But no, she's her a, face is beautiful. Oh, she's a, and she's she is a sexu sexually wo sexual woman. Like not too many guys are looking at her going nah. But ever also <laughs> she al although she has that uh, I don't know what we call that je ne sais quoi. The, the thing where she's seductive, yeah. but she's also a lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so she has both of those yeah, going. Yeah, it's not trampy or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. And it's it's her innocence that she comes across yeah. a lot. Yeah. Because nowadays, when you have any kind of a sex symbol, they're not a lady. No, they're they're right? they're, riding, they're riding wrecking balls naked singing. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's It's a whole different generation. Yeah. So I've discovered after uh, How to Marry a Millionaire... Um, that I liked Marilyn Monroe, like I hadn't had any previous experience watching her, and after this, I really like watching Marilyn Monroe. Okay, mm -hmm. I, okay. I actually can't wait for the next one that I that I happen to watch. Right. Okay. You're not going to pursue it, but I mean, well, I imagine we're going to do another classic review, and she's going to be in it. Likely. Yeah. Okay. I get it. All right. Um, there. <laughs> There are some scenes in here when they're disguising themselves as women that one of them goes on a date um, with a, bil a millionaire, a mama's boy kind of thing, who's living off his mother's money, and he has a yacht, and they, Tony Curtis then uses the yacht while the other one's dating him, <laughs> so he, he can pretend that he's a millionaire. But Tony Curtis, his accent, when he's being... I'm uh, really, how, I can't even do the the, the millionaire because uh, it's Cary Grant. Very fast music, uh, jazz. Yeah, real hot. Oh well, I guess some like it hot. I personally prefer classical music. I don't know if you guys know Cary Grant. Not overly. But he's Cary Grant. He puts on Cary Grant's voice. Hmm. He's like over imitating Cary Grant to be that rich snob. It's like Howard. Thurston Howell the Third from okay. Gilligan's Island, right? Yeah. It's so over exaggerated that it's almost funny, but it's Cary Grant. Because I just watched the Cary Grant movie, and it's Cary Grant that he's impersonating. And I wonder if they're friends at the time, and they're okay with that. But there's no mistaking who he was trying to pretend to be. Um, this. Or maybe Cary Grant just sounded like rich millionaire snobs. It's true. Could be that. Well, Cary Grant, that's always how we talked. So he didn't put it in. That's not Maybe how Tony he Curtis is a rich really. Well, he was now. rich. He was rich. Um, but yeah, I just I just found that kind of funny. As far as if you were to break down the story, was it a great, funny, hilarious movie? Eh. I, I found the the funniest part of the movie was the last line in the movie. <laughs> yep. What was that again? Yeah. When they're when they're driving and he's like, you know. Uh, 
Uh, I'm I'm this, and you know he's like, well, I can get over that. No, I'm I'm. I'm not really you know, blonde. I'm not really a blonde. I'm not uh, a natural and blonde. And well, and that's okay. And I mean, then he finally goes, I'm not even a woman. And I'm goes, a man. Well, nobody's perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> so I thought that was great. Yeah. Uh, if you don't know what it, yeah, that's the punchline of the movie when they're at the end. But uh, they they did cross. Like they were looking at the gender things, they were looking at you know See, back all the then, different things. Back then, it must have been hilarious to watch two guys acting as women, as yeah. women. And, yeah. But in 2022, walk down the street on the cover <laughs> of magazines, you see the woman of the year, and it's yes. well, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or sports, or yeah. top top sports swimmer of the year. Yeah, yeah. So things are different now, so it's it's not quite as novel for us. But back then, it must have been a huge. Comedic. That's where it all started. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, Jack Lemmon's face. Can anything be more cartoony? Right? Yeah. He's, he's like pretty the, animated. Jim, the Jim Carrey of the day. Yeah. Because it, just yeah. looking at his face makes me laugh. I was, well, I was actually thinking more, um, not Steve Martin, Martin Short. I was, I was, I got that feel from him. Yeah. Yeah. In his animations. So. Well, Tony Curtis can pull off a woman. That's the first thing I noticed. Is, yep. He looked yeah. like a woman. Did for you? Eh? <laughs> he did. He did. <laughs> Don's like, hmm. Tony Curtis does it for everybody. <laughs> Let's not lie. Uh, <laughs> Let's go with it. <laughs> Let's go with that. But Jack Lemmon, I think he was in the original Odd Couple movie. Uh, oh, really? Felix Unger. I think he was the original Felix. Never saw it. Um, uh oh. <laughs> People are going to say, you got to watch the original Odd Couple, everybody. I think he was. I'm pretty sure he was. I, I don't know if they were involved at the time, but uh, Tony Curtis and Marilyn Monroe were actually lovers at the beginning of her career. And I don't know if it carried into this movie. Or, came, or, or after the movie. Or after it was over already. I don't know. Okay. Well, but, uh, okay. Does it hold up today? I enjoyed watching it, so it must. Hold up. Like, will you watch it again? Probably not. No. Yeah, no, it's it's something they could probably remake, but I don't think it would be as impactful as it was no, when it came out. No, not even close. I don't, I don't think they could remake this. It, Why? It would be breaking all kinds of uh, cultural things you don't talk about. Now, Anymore. And you don't criticize and you don't laugh at. I guess. Uh, back in the day, it wasn't a thing. I right? guess, yeah, you could so. you could joke about things back then. Yeah. So... All right. All right. Well, yeah, I've seen this movie now a couple times, but I would not have watched this again, probably had I not been reviewing it. Unlike How to Marry a Millionaire, I have watched... Every know, week. No, I watch it probably once a year. Yeah, okay. I will turn it on. I'll, oh, there it is. Click on my movies when I'm just scrolling through my movies. So, so where, would this, where would this rank in all the classics we've reviewed? Like hmm. White Christmas, Singing in the hmm. Rain... Hmm. For me, it'd be, it's not as good as White Christmas, Singing in the Rain, or How to Marry a Millionaire. I'd put it a, a around the same as Scarface, myself. Hmm. I, think I don't think I would quite have it as high as Scarface for classic movies. I, I did enjoy Scarface. Um, I don't know, but I think it's, I mean, I would like if I was rating this, I would give it a 7. Yeah, I think out of all the classic movies I've seen, I think this is the best. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Boop, boop, be doo <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and hey, Tony Curtis. <laughs> All right. So uh, there you go. That's our classic review. It's not really much a review, just our overall feelings on the movie and uh, of the time. Give it a watch if you haven't seen it. It's definitely worth watching. You won't be disappointed. You watch it. And uh, in the comments down below, give us some real classic movies, folks. Give us something that is an outstanding movie that we haven't mentioned that we should be watching. Hi everybody, welcome back to Movie Related. Ah! Oh! <laughs> that is because Mark made us watch a movie. Ah! Oh. Ta-da!